Coming in which? In he is in suit. What are you talking I'm in about? suit. Yeah, exactly. It's, silicone. <laughs> it's all silicone. Oh, wait, though, right? I don't know. Oh, what? No. I thought, okay, because he told me because the movie didn't do as well as they were hoping that they... Who'd hear that from? My friend. Oh, yeah? No, yeah, no, no. no. He's dead. Yeah, now yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah, no, no. The movie, the movie did pretty good. Uh, okay. You're talking about this, this in the theaters itself, like in general, the release you're talking about. The, um, the reviews, or what, what were you... Oh, like what I didn't watch it when it was came released. out? I, yeah. I only watched it a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Um, so it's fresh, but... Yeah. yeah and so now, I it was good enough that they did four more after <laughs> it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, for sure. The game, yeah. the game series has a big following, too, so I'm sure there was a high Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and all defense, I'm not being defensive, but, no, but I, I never heard any any reviews that were negative or that it didn't do as well I'm as... I'm really glad. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Yeah. Critically, it's one of the one of the better reviewed. I think films so of all of the series. One, yeah. yeah, I would yeah. say so. Yeah. yeah, that's what that's the feedback I've heard over the years mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the first one is what it is. I, that will always be the yeah. kind of the cornerstone. But yeah. I like the second one better than the first one myself. Yeah. Just more action. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the first one had to develop everything, even though it was yeah. based on a, a video game that already existed. Yes. But it was contained as well, like yeah. just in the facility. Or, exactly. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so, uh, was the suit itself really restrictive? Because you didn't seem to be able to have a wide range of motion. Uh, it w you know what it was. You learn to adapt. Um, it's not the first time I wore a suit, but that's the first time. But that's that's the the most I guess involved suit I wore. Um, so it was corseted at the back. So I went on kind of like a hospital gown, and then tied at the back. Huh. Um, and then obviously the the leather and everything went over top. Yeah. You didn't see the corset part, so, yeah. Um, but it was yeah tightened up, tight right up. So it brought your posture right yeah. back, which was uh, which was great for the camper, not so good for you know your posture and yeah. moving around. And um, after 17 hours, some days were you know 16, 17 yeah. hours. Yeah, I would say the average day was probably about 14, 14 yeah, hours, 15 hours. Uh, it was weighted, yeah, and I mean, it doesn't take a lot of weight after a while, just even just carrying a knapsack, you know, how it feels on your shoulder, okay, right. just times that by 10, because it was all over your body, just the yeah. weight on your spine and, and overall the neck. Yeah, but again, I mean, you just, uh, just the slightest change in some in your posture and in the way you're sitting or the way you're standing, I mean, you, you feel that in your body, so yeah. it, was, it was definitely a long shoot in that regard, uh, wearing that suit and hot, yeah. so it was silicone, right? So no breathing, you skid did. It was just like a sweatsuit. So yeah, you would literally right? take it off, you'd be soaked underneath. Yeah. What so. time of year did they film that? It was summer, wasn't it? Uh, no, it was, it was more towards the fall. Okay. thankfully. Yeah. Yeah, it started. Yeah, to, it started, I believe, September. It was, it was right around right the time we started it. And uh, yeah, the nights started to cool off. There were still some warm ones. Yeah. But uh, most of your stuff was at night. We did right? pre-production in August, I believe, for that. So it was warm doing the pre-production stuff. A lot of that was out of the suit. Yeah. Just uh, fight choreography and whatnot. So, Samila so and I had the hundred. I think it was a hundred around hundred fifty fight move sequence. And between Mila and I, the one the, near the kind yeah, of the, the, yeah. the, the the big fight scene at the end yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was a lot of training, a lot of prepping for that. Yeah, man. And you're a yeah. trained martial artist, right? Yeah, I went to martial arts. I've done martial arts since I was 11. Cool. So, what yeah. have you dabbled in? Like, what have you? Uh, done? Mostly, my formal training is um, uh, just goju ryu karate. Yeah, it goes to style. Um, but uh, so I've done a little bit of everything. Strike, oh yeah, everything. Striking, striking falls, you know, um, yeah. kicks, um, katas. Yeah. I mean, we do, yeah, it's pretty well-rounded cool. karate in that regard. Uh, but since since I got into the film, did a lot of just training with professionals, to, depending on what the shoot involved. Yeah. Uh, for example, Center Man was a lot of boxing, so we did some formal boxing training there. Yeah. Um, and just other various projects I've done with that involve different disciplines. So yeah, you, you kind of become a well-rounded. Um, I'm actually a current police officer right now too. I went back to the job. Oh wow! Yeah, just just uh, out of passion. I like the job you know, enough that I wanted to go back. Um, I could still do the film, which is great. Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was kind of like a call enemy police work. I, I felt. Um, like I, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't absolutely, absolutely pumped about leaving in the first place, but I, I had to for film just because film was getting busy enough. 
and it remained busy enough. I made a choice to go back, just to numerous reasons, but I um, love the job, I love helping people. So, so it's kind of in my DNA. Sorry to ask, yeah. I Oh wow! Um, Pacific Rim. Yeah, that was a, the oh, more of a stunt part. See, my my career has been divided into into acting and stunts. A lot of my stuffs involve stunts all the way through, but towards the, the latter part of my career, it's been more focused on the stunt aspect, which is great because that's that's a call out. You go out, you do the work. Uh, it's rewarding work. It's physical work, um, but it's also tough on the body. But that's where a lot of my my work's gone. I've been geared to just because of the training I have. The fact I can move for someone my size mm-hmm. is an asset. I dub- mm-hmm. doubled a lot. I've doubled um, one particular actor quite a bit as well. Um, Robert Mayette. He's he's a he's a name that's um, known to a lot of people. He's he was actually one of the pilots in Pacific Rim. Yeah. Um, and I've d- doubled him on the strain. So. Um, yeah, the, my, it's geared, it's more geared towards the stunt end of things in the later years. Um, that's not to say I wouldn't mind going back to the acting side, but you got to you 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 kind of have to work with what you're given. And when you're six seven, you know, <laughs> three hundred pounds, you're not going to be part. You're not going to be matched with someone who's five five very often. And that's 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 just the, the reality of the business. Yeah. Most actors are under six feet, and then you have that height differ- height differential. I worked with Halle Berry and. Gothica, and you can see in one of the scenes, you actually just see my shoulder because they do a close-up on her. <laughs> so it doesn't work too well with film, yeah. and you can only cheat it so much on close-ups, yeah. Yeah. right, yeah. with Apple boxes. So, um, there's a lot of. Uh, I spent some time doing extra work on some sets, and like, it, it's surprising how small actors are. Absolutely, you think they're one size, and like no. that camera thing is real, nope. like the adding pounds and stuff. Like, absolutely, they're, they're twigs. Yeah. Yeah. Like short, twi- like very small. I don't yeah. know what it is, but a lot of actors are very, very tiny. Absolutely. No, when I go on set, I feel like a giant most times, and, <laughs> and that's why you get you get the pigeonhole and the, the, the stereotype effect that because day, it, it isn't. It is like you said. You get hey there. You got to you got to work with what you got and uh, and make the most of it. And, and you know, and I'm I'm grateful for what I've been given genetically, and I've obviously worked thirty plus years in a gym to achieve this, and through martial arts and training. So yeah. Um, it's 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 given me the the ability to do what I've done, you know. And without that, um, I wouldn't have done half as well, half of half of what I've done, if and not three quarters of what I've done. So yeah, and uh, just riffing off of that, like yeah. the Nemesis suit that was made was only fit you, right? Yeah, was it was a body, body cast, full body cast, absolute body cast. Yeah, um, so plaster cast, top to bottom, including the head to breathe through straws, while they had it going on my head. Um, because yeah. the the mask had kind of like animatronic elements in it. It did. I think. It did. They had a close up shot that would move the close up mask. Yeah. And then they had the stunt mask. So the hero mask was the one that was you know that had all the the movement in it. And then the hero mask is or the sorry the stunt mask would be the one I did the fight scenes in. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Because I was less uh, less heavy, less rigid. The, the the one that moved was not as comfortable. So uh, the other one was more suited towards the moving around, and obviously the one that had the electronics in it was a lot more expensive. Yeah, they didn't want to get kicked and punched. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Absolutely. dropped. So heavier too. I imagine it would have been a little heavier, but uh, yeah. not not crazy amount no. heavier, but just just more more rigid parts to it. Yeah, you had to fit the battery packs in and stuff, and the sensors, and yeah. So so what was the audition process like, or where did they? You know, how did that go? Like. Uh, I fortunately worked with uh, the stunt coordinator on that, Steve Lisescu, uh prior to uh, on, a, on a film, um, uh, and actually I worked on a couple different films, and he was a stunt coordinator on uh, Resident Evil, so he brought me out to meet the production, the pr- producers and uh, and casting directors and whatnot, and I did a basically a physical edition, so let's see what you can do. Just show us your move, show us what you were capable of physically. And it was just kind of a, a free wheel in 30 seconds. And then I forget how long, probably 30 seconds to a minute. I can't remember the exact length of just, just, just doing kicks, punches. I had a bow. I did a bunch of different things as far as for showing my skill set. And so it was more of a physical addition because there weren't any lines in that movie. So I just wanted to see how I could move because there was a lot of, uh, it was a very physical role. Mm-hmm. So It was an excellent role. Yeah, well, you know what? It was great. it was it was really good. Tough on the body, but um, that uh, that comes with the territory sometimes. So. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Feel free. Hi. Uh, so, 
Did you, I'm curious, like, did yeah. you have any knowledge of the Resident Evil video games, or had you played yeah. any of them? No. no. So you no, I've no never idea. been a gamer. I really yeah. played, I did arcades growing up in high school and stuff. I would go to the arcade and play, yeah. um, you know, whatever, whatever games they, they were at the arcade at the time. I'm drawing, drawing a blank on the names of them. Uh, so back like, in the day, Atari and a television at home, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, dating myself. <laughs> so other than that, no, I never got into the game. Never got into gaming. Um, just uh, was always, you know, just never, never, never developed that interest. So going in, I was going in blank, which which could be a benefit sometimes too. Mm -hmm. um, that way you're not building up any anticipations or psyching yourself out that you got to, you know, kind of fill really big shoes. So yeah. which inevitably I was. Yeah, I mean, thing. Nemesis is one of the most iconic horror yeah. video game uh, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. villains of all time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just because of the nature also of just, he, he's always following you, you can't defeat him no. in the game. Like, exactly. He just keeps yeah. reappearing. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 And kind of kind of took that on in the movie, too. Yes. Even after he got killed by the helicopter, there's still signs of life. So yeah. I don't know if they were planning on bringing him back. I heard rumblings that they were, but they obviously haven't as of yet mm -hmm. in its true, in its true form. Sorry? There's just so much to cover in the series. Exactly. You know, and that's just it too, right? For sure. Yeah. 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 Um, so... So, yeah, you, you spoke about it a little bit earlier, but your, your training of being a uh, police officer, yeah. um, I thought it was kind of funny because it's fitting that you ended up playing a villain whose specialty is, is killing police. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. totally his entire modus operandi. Absolutely, and then in Exit Wounds, I did. I played a corrupt cop, so... Yeah, right on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, yeah, become full circle. <laughs> so would you attribute that? I mean, obviously your stature and your build as well, yeah. but, like, how much of your training as, a, as an officer, like, has uh, affected or helped or aided you on, on sets to um, kind of work? Anything really? Uh, well, I mean, I Fire played. Arms? I played it. Oh, firearms for sure. I mean, that would be a good one right there. The obvious one would be yeah, just comfort level with guns. Yeah. Uh, shooting a blank is a lot different than shooting a real bullet, obviously. But uh, the the, the uh, recoil is is very minimal with a blank, if very almost non-existent. So, um, but just the comfort of holding a gun, knowing how to hold a gun, looking like you have experience holding a gun, because yeah. is you know the bit of an awe factor for someone who's never actually held a gun or shot one. But did you find yourself in a position where you were teaching? Well, they have they have armors on on set, so yeah. Typically, those are the guys that are going to take on that role. Um, I can't. Nothing comes to mind as far as any time I really had to ever you know educate anyone on a gun. Um, I'd say I haven't, but nothing comes to mind. Usually, you leave that for the guys that are paid to to do that. So yeah, absolutely. And I'm, you know what? There's a lot of guns that, that you know I've worked with over the over the years that. I've had no experience with, so it's someone you know as much as firing a gun is didn't come new to me or wasn't new to me, came natural if you will. Um, there were still a lot of weapons that I had never seen. You know, I fired a Desert Eagle. I actually went to the ranch. I fired that live, which was kind of cool. It's a forty-five cal gun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a big boy, and uh, just the even the Gatling gun I fired in uh, in Resident Evil. Yeah. That was uh, I didn't know how to fire live rounds with that. They were all <laughs> blanks, but it was a heavy gun. It was more than eighty pound gun. And that, that was the... Yeah, um, I was going to ask you about the rocket launcher. Had you ever fired anything like that before? No, absolutely not. No, no. And a lot of that was it was uh, CGI-based anyway, okay. right? So, yeah, there, there was actually no, no nothing that, that came out of that gun. That was all uh, post. Yeah, Got it. yeah. Bit of a liability there with the <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was going to ask. Like, it's, Where did the missile go? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, how yeah. do you do a blank of a missile? Or but whatever. that Gatling gun was about 80 pounds. Wow. Yeah, it was. It wasn't a prop. Mix that with the suit. That like was a, exactly, exactly. But it, you, you could anchor it in, so you could you take some of the weight like yeah. that, so you had the leverage. Yeah. But you were still probably holding a good fifty pounds on the end of the gun. Um, that was actually the gun that uh, Jesse the Body Ventura shot or used in um, in Predator Wicked. when he cleared the forest. Do you ever see uh, Predator? Dude. You haven't seen Predator? Oh, oh, you gotta see Predator. <laughs> 
Yeah. If I if I went, if I went it, I would actually go to one of these shows just to see like meet the cast of Predator. Like I'm a huge fan. Yeah. That's when I I grew up in that in that era. Right, but I was born in '73, right. so that was right in my wheelhouse as far as growing up and. Yeah. That's uh, probably one of the, as far as seeing movies how many times, or numerous number, number of times, that's probably one of them in the yeah, top three the anyway. Vibes. You know what, just, sorry? The Jungle <laughs> Yeah, no, just Arnold. I mean, I was a big, yeah, big sports yeah. editor fan, still am. I mean, he's someone that I uh, grew up admiring and just being in the gym and stuff too, yeah, so. Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, he's still yeah. in great shape, yeah. so yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Rocky Four, another another classic that, yeah. that I like a lot. Um, but that was the actual gun. If you watch the movie, Jesse the Ventura yeah. uses the gun. He fires it with two hands. I did it with one. Two, two. Uh, just, just saying. <laughs> yeah, just saying. But he clears out the forest with a Gatlin gun. That's the actual, that's the same gun that they used in, in Resident Evil 4. So, in Resident Evil 2, yeah. And I mean, he brought up the suit earlier, but um, do you have any idea what happened? Because it was custom built for you. It was funny. Is a guy showed up here today with the actual head. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, 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 that I was explaining. No, he had the head. He got it from Paul Jones, who was the creator of the costume. Uh, and I don't know how he got he, no, he knows Paul, obviously, and Paul gave it to him. Maybe he won a bet, or I don't know. But I didn't get that much detail. But he came here today, and I signed. He had a little placard. Uh, so I signed the placard for him. Uh, cool. As far as the suit itself, I don't know. I've seen shots of it on the internet, on display. Yeah. But no idea. No idea like at in all. in a warehouse somewhere. Probably. Or yeah. Yeah. So what was that at your table over here? earlier today and that's just a 3d printout you know what that was a mold they made okay. and i actually wore that because it has an elastic on it oh, nice. uh it was more just for um like i would do some fight rehearsals in that just to kind of get an idea of you know the size of the mask and working within range so so, so that technically was a part of the movie absolutely yeah that's part of the cool. part of the part of the uh rehearse fight rehearsals and that whatnot if yeah. you would say absolutely part of the movie though yeah 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 i've i've gifted that to my cousin he's the artist that's sitting beside me there uh he grew up him and i grew up together he's like a brother sorry he's guy with the uh he's sitting at the table with me i'm not sure what color shirt he's wearing i'll be honest to my right yeah yeah big guy yeah bald shaved head yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, not at all, man. No, he, he's, uh, yeah, he's he's the reason I'm here today. I'll be honest. Okay. So yeah, he 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 told me about the event, and I jumped all over it. This is the first show I've ever done. Wicked. I did I did Resident Evil 2004. It's my first show ever. So I I may do some more. Um, it's been a lot of fun. So it's a good community. Yeah. People are sorry. It's a good community. People absolutely. Are really nice yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Passionate about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you were talking about. Your admiration for like Schwarzenegger and stuff. So yep. I'm curious, like, what was the impetus for you to make that jump from being a police officer to acting? Was there a moment wow. or no? It was, it was it was all it was all happenstance. I ran into someone who I knew before I got on the job, mm -hmm. and uh, just by coincidence, he re I ran into him at a restaurant. And he came up and he remembered me, uh, and uh, he said, "Hey, Matt, you know, you got a great look." I, I'm a, he was a writer. My agent at the time repped him as a writer, so um, he said, "Let me introduce my agent." He, you know, I, obviously he wasn't pushing me for writing; he was pushing me to go on film and, and do do what I do, what I ended up doing. And I just it was just a just a total for, for chance meeting of seeing him at the at the restaurant. From there, I went and met his agent, who became my agent, and the rest is history. Cool. So no training, no history in the film, no nothing even in high school, and didn't barely did drama. Um, and yeah, just again, just my just the physicality part of it took mm -hmm. me into the industry, and the rest is history. So, do you do you have any kind of uh, dream role you would like to take a stab at, like an hour no. for no, not really. Oh no! I'm saying wow. Oh. Like I, yeah, no, no, sorry, it wasn't a no. It was a wow. Um, no, absolutely. Um, as far as a dream role, though, I mean, I would. Every, every role has its own, presents its own challenges and opportunities. Um, I can't say there's an actual dream role that comes to mind. I mean, doing something like a kind of predator type theme would be cool, yeah. you know? Um, like just that that whole premise uh, of that movie, not to we're not here pumping the predator, but <laughs> um, just that sort of action piece yeah. where you can, there is some physicality to it, yeah. but a decent plot and something that, that you know, is gonna stick. Mm -hmm. uh, over time, kind of like Resident Evil has, mm -hmm. and those types of movies. So, do you yeah. have a, a favorite project you've worked on that for whatever reason? I mean, uh, they, a, a, you know, what I'll give you a blanket answer. They, they all, they've all, they've all 
kind of been enjoyable in their own way. Mm-hmm. Um, some have worked out longer than others. Resident Evil is one of the probably one of the more lengthy films I've done as far as days on set mm-hmm. and my involvement. Uh, X Wounds was another one that was uh, longer in duration for me uh, as far as my involvement. Um, so I would say those between those two are probably the two that uh, you know I hold uh, as uh, probably two of my favorites. Cool. You know, just based on my involvement. The more involved you are, the more obviously you you. Um, you know, you hold it close to your heart. So, yeah, yeah for sure. At this point in your movie career, do you find that people are seeking you out to fulfill roles, or are you still searching? I still, you know what? Oh, look, uh, there's the mic. <laughs> I still, uh, can you hear me back there? Um, you know what? I, I still definitely uh, still get keep in communication with a lot of stunt coordinators. Uh, my agent, um, I, still, I still keep in touch with him. Um, I've stepped away the last couple of years, uh, just for personal reasons and getting back to the, back on the, on the, on the force. But, um, you know, I'm still very much a uh, part of the industry and, you know, I'm going to look at getting more involved again in it. Um, I kind of had to take a step away, like I said, for, for some personal reasons, notwithstanding getting back on the job. I got back on the police service about five years ago now. So, uh, I've been working in and around my police schedule, more stunt pieces. I did some work on the strain, the series of strain. Uh, doubling uh, again, Robert Mayet. I mentioned his name earlier. So he was the master. So thumbs up. Yeah. Hi, Love buddy. That series. You do like it, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I doubled the master in that. I don't know if you're familiar with the strain. You clearly are, but yeah. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. So Robert, you know Robert Mayet? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Big, yeah, you've met him a few times. Yeah. yeah he's a he's a memorable guy when you meet him. You think I'm big? Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I'm still still involved in the industry, just not as active as I as I was uh, five years and previous to that. So, so. Is it always around your police schedule, or are they able to accommodate at all? Well, again, I I stepped away from policing for 16 years, and that's why I did most of my work right. was for the 16 years I stepped away. You know what? I did a lot of work while I was still with the, on the job in the late 90s. I did um, Skulls, Detroit Rock City. Um, I did a couple other projects as well that aren't coming Mongo. to mind. But Chongo. <laughs> Chongo. Chongo. <laughs> so, and then I, then I got to the point where I left. And then that, then I focused on film on a full-time basis. The police, I yeah, and then I went back to policing, uh, like I said, about five years ago now. So, um, And is that in Toronto? Or? It's in York, so north of Toronto. Okay, New York yeah. region. Yep. 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 Right on. I'm in uh, Newmarket, so... Oh, there you go. Yeah. I'm out of Newmarket. So, yeah. I mean, we will probably cross paths uh, now. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'll remember you, bud. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I want to I get to the film. I want to get back into film a little a little more than I have been the last five years. Uh, but I still want to... I don't want to lose touch with policing because that's what happened the first time around is... And that's important to me, too. You know, I, I did that. I just got into that job for a reason. And I, I want to, um, you know, just be able to stick around this time. Cool. So, yeah. if I can work both, I'm going to work both. The long game. So, do yeah. you mind if I ask, how old are you right now? How old do you think I am? Let's play again. I know. Oh, I he spot. told you what? No, he didn't. He, he didn't catch it. He didn't catch it. So, what do you think? <laughs> Seventy-nine was the time that you were watching movies as a teen. I think you said. So, oh, we are in two thousand eighteen. Uh, okay, so you are... Just pick a number. How old If you looked at me, how old would you say I was? 40... You're not going to offend me, dude. So give me your 40. honest answer. 40? 46, bud. Okay. No, not bad. 73. How old are you? I was going to guess 46. Oh, right on, brother. Yeah. I swear to God. Yeah, no? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were you born? Uh, 70. 70? Okay, you got me by a few years. Yeah. <laughs> you can have those few years. <laughs> 71. There we go. Good for you, honey. You look great. Oh, younger man. <laughs> yeah. Were you? How old are you, brother? Twenty-four. So oh, good for you, man. Yeah. Yeah. You got a long. Now, what about you? Yeah. Uh, the quiet guy in the room. Uh, yeah, thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Good for you, man. Yeah, you look familiar. I don't know what it is. You maybe you look like you remind me of someone. A little bit of Corey off the Pawn Stars. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from, man? Uh, Toronto. So awesome, brother. Here. Yeah. No, I have spent uh, most of my most of my adult life in Toronto. What part of Toronto do you live in? Downtown area? Yeah, nice, buddy. You got the Iron Maiden shirt on. That's solid. Yeah. Was it was it kind of surreal to be shooting Resident Evil in Toronto, like growing up in that kind of area, like shooting Yeah, near yeah you know what? It was, um, yeah, you know, I, I've shot a lot in Toronto. Okay. So really, the, you know, the, the, 
the novelty of ooh, I'm in my, the city I worked in, I've lived in for so long, kind of wears off pretty quick. And yeah. you do a lot of studio work too, so you don't even know where you are. At that yeah, point. Yeah. Shot a lot in Montreal, which I love. Uh, Montreal, I would. If I could speak French, we'll probably think about moving to Montreal. Yeah, but, it's gorgeous. Uh, no, I love Montreal. I went there this summer as well, just on vacation. Been there numerous, numerous times. Shot there a lot. Had the opportunity to do so. Uh, a lot of studios there. So, yeah. um, shot three weeks in the Yukon. Did a movie called uh, Red Coat Justice. It's also called Law Man. I believe there's a few different titles for it, depending on where what country you're you're looking at it in. Um, but uh, uh, did three weeks up there, with almost a month actually in the Yukon. Uh, played a role on Nikolai. Yeah, it was a good, good, good little movie. Took t- took place back in the Gold Rush era. Red coat justice. Red coat justice. Where the title comes from is Mounties wore red coats, right? right? So red coat. And there's a Mountie that patrolled up in the back in the day, and I played a, a bad Russian, a Cossack. Um, we used to go around and basically rob the the, the mining camps. Always the bad guy. Always the bad guy, <laughs> and I always get beaten up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, how many stories up was that building? Uh, not too, not too high. But it, there's like a platform. It's at City Hall. You're talking about where the helicopter ends up crashing yeah. him. Yeah. So that's at City Hall. There's like a platform. It's okay. probably about three stories. Oh. Yeah. So it's not the, the same building. No. Like the one. Well, it's the same building. It's just we're just front. in front of it. Yeah. Right. Uh-oh. If you go look, there's like a raised concrete yeah. kind of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's where you kind of enter that's in. So it is. It's very. It's a very unique building, though. But she actually ran down the side of the building. I know, that's it's crazy. I can't trust my wife. Joanna was the uh, Joanna. Remember, I can't remember. Struggling to remember her last name, but she was Mila's double. Mm-hmm. Mila's used her since. Mila loves Joanna. Uh, from what I understand, she still uses her. Um, but she actually ran down the side of the building. That's pretty rough. That's my line of the sand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't do heights. As much as I'm tall, I don't do heights. So. No. Was there was there anything that was particularly tough about that shoot? Like there well, was speaking of shoot? heights, we were in the CBC building, and it's like an atrium all the way to the top. Yeah. And I had to stand over there. This was cut out of the film. They didn't show this part of the film, but I'm. Uh, it's when they were looking for me, I believe, in the movie. This this one scene, uh, it's with. Um, the, the, the main the main group of them were walking mm-hmm. through this building. They're either looking for me or getting away from me. I can't remember which it is because the scene was cut out. Mm-hmm. And I'm down. I'm at the very top. They're at the bottom of the atrium. I'm at the very top in one of the one of the railings. And they have a, a they've wired me on the back with a cable. And I lean right over like that. So I'm pretty much like that angle. Oh, so if the cable snapped, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm face planning all the way down however many stories the CBC building is but yeah, quite high it's, it's yeah. probably close to 20 stories anyway yeah. um, and that was yeah the knees were definitely buckling on that one because all you have is a wire on the back yeah. you gotta trust the guy behind you <laughs> <laughs> you know that uh, that's that's hooking you up so a little uh, bit off topic but what kind of heights training do they do in the force? no heights training no fireman fireman you gotta have a little bit of uh, you know yeah, no, nerves of steel uh, we we're not the guys going to the lunch. No, that's all Hollywood stuff. So we have we have um, we have guys that are specialized in in those sorts of thing negotiations. Okay. And yeah, huh. yeah. We still get we get those types of calls, but they're never in the new, where New Market doesn't really have a lot of high rises. So <laughs> York region, for that matter, doesn't have a lot of a few condos, but not a lot of high rises up in in York region. So we don't get that too too often. Most people that are gonna, you know, do that sort of thing, they're jumping. They're not gonna call and, and talk about it. Not to get too, you know, um, yeah. macabre here, but yeah. yeah, usually people that have a plan with that sort of way of uh, hurting themselves, no, they're gonna do it. No, no. Like you either have the you either have the the nerves for it or you don't. That's yeah. that's genetic. Huh. Yeah, you're not training yourself. I mean, you can you can get used to things, but and you like, you like initial them. fear. Yeah. Yeah, no bungee jumping or skydiving for this guy. No, <laughs> right on. never done either. I've never, I've never, never lived life like some guys do on the edge. A lot of stunt guys, they have to experience things. It just gives them that extra edge, that extra, that extra advantage, and that's that's one thing I've never done. I'm a ground, two feet on the ground. Sorry. No, never have, man. No, no. You know, life's too valuable for me. It is. I've lost friends. I've lost friends in the stunt industry that have uh, yeah. that have perished. You ever do anything like that? Scuba diving and stuff? Yeah. No, I've done stuff going away, but just more vacation stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm a that pretty... freaks me out. Like, yeah. The idea of being under there with that gear and if it fails. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Again, that kind of goes in line with just, I've played safe. I'm a played safe kind of guy. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, laid back, enjoy life, and, 
you know, I'd rather sit at a cottage in a, in a nice chair and <laughs> yeah. rather than be you know base jumping somewhere. So <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Cool. Any other questions that you guys have? Um, you got to have a question for us. Right? Yeah, you got to give us one. No pressure if you, if you don't want it. That's cool. <laughs> no. You're a fan of the series. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, but I, I would imagine because you're sitting in the room. But yeah, no, it's cool. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. What's your What's your name, brother? Uh, Mike. Mike. Did I meet you at the table, Mike? Uh, no. No, you didn't come to the table. Okay. So. You've seen him yeah. in a dream or something. No. He's, 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 you know his yeah. face. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know if I'm stepping out of bounds here. Yeah. Photo be okay. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we can do a photo for sure, man. I. Should we wait? Yeah, we'll do it. Out. We'll do it on the way out. But yeah, yeah, once we wrap up, for sure, man. Yeah, cool. definitely, bud. Yeah. Just trying to think. There were a few other questions. Um, well, I feel know. like kind of a douche because <laughs> I pretty much only know like Nemesis, right? And mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of the series. I thought it went to shit. Like the movies after, or the games? After I don't do video okay. games. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I had an television too. Yeah. <laughs> like Donkey Kong yeah. and Wonder Boy and yeah. Yeah, that, that kind of person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you no, know, I I'm, I feel like I said I feel pretty bad because I don't know a lot. Yeah. But I just love Nemesis. No, it's but awesome. Nemesis was like, pro, like. Yeah. He could be like the even sexier Cenobite, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of got that Hellraiser vibe, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Totally. Like yeah. put him in some well, fetish gear, and that's there I you go. I was a strange child. I liked boys who looked like they were dead. <laughs> the bigger, the uglier that they wore leather, and they killed people. That's why we're here, right? Well, you're calling me ugly. You're calling me. I got the big down and the ugly. Okay, I'll take it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that design uh, the, of the nemesis that's in the games as well. There's just something really iconic about the yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely, looks like. absolutely. And yeah. the, I thought the movies did a great job, like that yeah. movie of capturing like it looks identical. It's, yeah, you know, a yeah. lot of times. Sorry. Oh no, I was just like, that's excellent because yeah. I didn't. I've never seen the game. Yeah, I mean, if you check it out, like it's 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 exact. Um, Spot on. That's what I hear. Yeah, yeah. it's really. Yeah, well. I've and seen a lot clips of, of it, but yeah, yeah, like a lot of times when they make that transition from a game to to Hollywood, it loses some kind of. They change something somewhere yeah. in the line. Yeah, the costume exactly. designers like, no, I don't yeah. want this. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that franchise is really good for that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's a unique look. Even the staples on on the top of the head, like yeah. just everything, the detail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they didn't sell out on any anything really no. with that whole costume. No. That was pretty sweet. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No, it was, a, it was an honor to be part of it. No. Did you um did you kind of channel any Arnie Terminator in your portrayal? Like, cause you, I mean, you are like hunting. You got yeah. that radical thing going on. Yeah. No. You know what? No, I, didn't, I I can't say that I channeled anything from from him. I mean, not not for film anyway. But right. everything you know, if I kind of emulated on on that end, would be more in the gym and just yeah. in the way I've uh, approached my 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 training. But um, nothing so much on film. Maybe that's why doing some. You asked me earlier about what what type of film would be you know of interest to me yeah. moving forward, and uh, and that's maybe why I, I would choose something like that just because of the role he played in it. Mm -hmm. And um, he was he was probably a little bit younger than me when he did that role, around my age anyway. Yeah, you know, um, but he still looked awesome. Yeah, that. I mean, we still you know. He he had a lot of good years there. So and now he's he's back in the new. I saw they got him back for Dark. I think it's called Dark Fate. Terminator, oh really? Dark Fate. Yeah, there's oh, one coming out. Another Terminator. In a okay. few days. Yeah. Yeah. So Not gonna lie, lost interest in the Terminator. I mean, franchise. yes. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. first one is great. The second yeah. one is different but good. Yeah. And yeah. Then, I don't know about yeah. the rest. But. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Predator, you gotta watch Predator. Okay, you know what? I original. Yeah, yeah, like you're at this Absolutely. con and you've never seen Predator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, you'll, it'll it'll change you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it will. It's a timeless movie, dude. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's culture. nothing uh, yeah, true. Nothing the eighty eight that came out? Eighty eight or eighty six? Somewhere around there. Yeah, like you would never know it's that year watching it. No. So no. That's pretty cool. No. 
And the Predator is another really cool villain design. Absolutely. Like, uh, I heard that John Claude Van Damme was actually going to be in a suit to play the Predator, and it, that fell through. Really? Because the guy they used was taller than me. I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's died. I believe he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they redesigned the entire character. But if you if you just Google John Claude Van Damme Predator, and it's like goofy looking wow. weird suit. Yeah, they totally yeah. changed it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Do you have a question? Yeah. Because I was. I'm, I, I, oh my God, I have issues. I have, I have accounts in the States, and I have shipping addresses because I do a lot of shopping online, mm -hmm. especially Entertainment Earth. And they, uh, God, it was a few weeks ago, there's like, I think, and then this is like, I think it's a one quarter statue. Mm. So do you, do you hear anything? Because it seems to be, it seems to be at, like having a bit of resurgence. I got, I mean, oh, yeah? you're, you're a little Funko Pop now. Right. Yeah, there's so a I Funko Pop. That, <laughs> and then I found I found a little four inch a little four inch nemesis. Yeah. And I, I found it in uh, an auction, so it oh, really? cost me a fucking fortune. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but now, like I said, there's a there's a statue and it was come and I, oh, really? I think it was on pre order. Huh. Do you know is it is it from Japan? Because I I went to Tokyo and I saw a ton of Nemesis sweater oh, really? and stuff, but I don't know what's from the game and what's from the movies and stuff like that, but. Uh, Hmm. This is no, nothing. No, I did. Um, I know there was. I made a. Good, there was a cameo or an appearance for the Nemesis uh, in not the one. There, not the one that just came out. I think the one before. Hmm. Uh, so what number would that have been? Five, think, maybe. Yeah, five or six. Yeah, uh, five. Yeah. Because I was. I do. Um, sign off on it because they were using they were doing flashbacks from my character in the second that one. The That's the only one. Everybody came back and it was all like different Didn't see it. communities. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that one lost me. <laughs> okay. One, I'm sorry. I, yeah. It just, it just didn't do I had fun Fell with off. all of them. Like yeah. all the yeah. movies yeah. personally. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's a great <laughs> marathon watch with your friends like, yeah. to watch yeah. that series yeah. but yeah. like I was saying earlier I think the first two are, are some of the better video game horror movies like made, um, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Matthew. Yeah, my pleasure, bud. It was a yeah. pleasure. Likewise, thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, strong grip there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can still you for pictures. You can, buddy. You for a cameraman. Yes, absolutely. I wouldn't mind getting a pick with Matthew as well. For sure, guys. Yeah, yeah I can. Scorpion. Battle axe. Oh, wow. Right, cool, eh? Yeah. Where do you want to do you want to go stand uh, over there? Just yeah, right up front. And then all you'll have to do is tap the little gray circle at the bottom. Okay. Do you want it um, this way or this way? Probably this way. Do you After your different. Yeah. I'll do too. With the battle axe. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just talk about that. That's the first one. I'll do one more. Just talk about that. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, buddy. Handshake. Right sure, man. Just talk about that.